Hey there, I'm Bill and welcome to Project Build, where today we're refreshing this gas fireplace and going from this to this. I started this project by turning the gas off so the valve is perpendicular to the gas line and then carefully removed and set aside the ceramic log. I pulled the fireplace unit out so I could access the gas line, loosened the connection with two adjustable wrenches, pulled the whole unit out and then removed the flexible gas line from the main line. I swept up most of the old fire rocks and vacuumed what was left with the shop vac. And then I removed the screw holding in the fire screen and pulled the rail and the screens out. I'm going to paint the ceramic brick inserts, so to make this easier, I removed the bracket holding in the left side panel and lifted the panel out. I also carefully pried up and removed the rear panel. The panel on the right is held in by the gas valve, so I'll have to leave it here and paint it in place. I used a wet cloth to clean all the panels and then painted on a coat of high heat fireplace paint on each using a cheap brush. In total, I put three coats on all the panels, allowing a day to dry between coats as the paint cures very slowly and it likely won't fully cure until it's exposed to high heat for a while. I also painted the exposed parts of the main gas line just to make it a bit less noticeable. I wore a respirator while using this paint as it smells very strongly. Once everything was painted and dry, I set the panels back in place and screwed in the bracket to hold the left panel securely. Moving on to restoring the fireplace unit, I cleaned the soot and dust off my gas logs with a brush. These logs are made of lightweight ceramic fiber and are very fragile and should only be cleaned using a dry method as they would absorb water and break down. Heavier ceramic refractory logs can be cleaned with soap and water or a cleaner made specifically for gas logs. I wanted to repaint the visible metal parts of the unit, so I removed the screw holding down the ceramic base and carefully pulled it out, but not carefully enough, as I broke off a piece of the base. Oops. It is really fragile, and I'll repair it here in a minute. I sprayed the unit with some soapy water, wiped it down, and then used an old brush to clean off any remaining dust in the hard to reach areas. I painted all the parts of the unit that will be visible using the same high tip paint I used earlier on the ceramic inserts, and after two coats, it's starting to look pretty good. To repair the ceramic base I broke, I applied a high temp sealant to both broken pieces, pressed them together for a few minutes, and then left the sealant to cure before attempting to move the base. And it's time to put it all back together. I wrapped yellow PTFE tape made for gas lines around the threads of the main line a few times. It's important to wrap the tape in a clockwise direction so it doesn't bunch or come loose when screwing something onto it. Then I screwed on and tightened a new black flexible gas line, slid the unit over the flexible line, and set it in place. I again wrapped the connection threads in the clockwise direction, threaded on the other end of the gas line, and tightened it. I turned the gas back on and then sprayed each connection with soapy water to check for leaks. If you see any air bubbles escaping from around the connections or smell any gas, shut off the gas and check your connections. Once I confirmed I had no leaks, I wanted to test the fireplace unit, so I lit the pilot, turned the gas up, and everything looks great. If you have a fireplace with a burner pan, you could cover the burner with silica sand for natural gas logs or vermiculite for propane logs, and covering the burners would cause the flames to dance more and look a bit more like a wood fire. The burners on my unit are exposed with no way to cover them, so I'll be skipping this step. I placed the front lock temporarily in place to get a feel for where the embers of the fire will be, and then while wearing gloves, I filled those spots with rock wool. And I went a little overboard here and had to remove the rock wool towards the back of the fireplace later where it won't be visible. I then added some platinum embers to add even more realism to the embers of the fire, and these were kind of expensive, but a little goes a long way, and it makes a noticeable difference versus rock wool alone. Then I filled the areas around the fireplace with lava rock. Lots of lava rock. I put back the fire logs and I'm really happy with how much better it looks for a small amount of work. I also added some new fireplace doors that both help to insulate and improve the look of things when the fireplace isn't in use. And we're done updating this old gas fireplace. If you wanna do this to your fireplace, all the tools and materials are linked in the video description. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing so you won't miss out on my future videos like making this fireplace surround, which I'm currently working on. So stay tuned for that coming soon. Until next time, go build yourself and update your fireplace.